Welcome to Intro to Computer Science, a view from 30,000 feet. From PCMagazine.com, the field of computer hardware and software. It includes systems analysis and design, application and system software design, programming and data center operations. For you, the emphasis is typically on learning a programming language or running a computer with little attention to the study of information and its uses. So what is computer science? In a computer, we have input data, processing, and output. Input is also called data. These are the raw facts that a computer needs in order to fulfill its processing needs and to produce the proper output. Types of data would include alphanumeric, which is numbers, letters, and special characters, images, which could include graphics, pictures, or photos, audio, which is sound, noise, tones, or music, and video, moving images and pictures, possibly animation. The computer provides the process. A process is the transformation of data into information. Output provides us with information. Information must be of some value to the decision makers. Types of valuable information would include information that is accurate, which means it's error free, complete, which means all important facts are present and nothing is omitted, relevant, pertaining to the specific decision maker, and simple, complex formulas or statistics tend to overload viewers, so keep it simple. Timely, the information is delivered when needed. So a computer system is made of both hardware and software. The hardware provides the physical components, the memory, the file storage, the processing unit, printers, and network infrastructure. And software provides us with the applications or programs, data utilities, job control language, operating system, and sequential query language or SQL. Types of computer systems. There's transaction processing systems, which gather and process batches of business interactions between two parties, such as vendors and the accounts payable department of a company. Enterprise resource planning, which is integrated programs that manage vital business operations. Management information systems, or MIS, provides routine information to managers and decision makers. Decision support provides specialized information to aid decision makers. Artificial intelligence, which provides machines like robots and computerized devices with the power to make decisions about tasks assigned. Virtual reality, a simulation of a real or imagined environment that can be experiment, experienced in three dimensions. Roles and functions in IT. There are three main functional areas within most IT departments and or companies. Operations, systems development, support services. These groups have different skill sets and are not inherently interchangeable. Organizational chart hierarchical layout of functions. You can see in this chart that the operations of the IT department are broken into these three systems. The operations department. The function is to maintain high levels of efficiency within the computer systems. The first job example is a system operator. The system operator is responsible for managing and maintaining the company's computer equipment. Specific duties might include running the mainframe systems, operating computer equipment such as networks, tape drives, and printers. A second example in operations might be data entry operator. The data entry operator is responsible for keying in data into the appropriate system for processing, such as sales orders and customer payments. This role is slowly becoming obsolete with real-time data capture of many types of transactions. Next, the systems development department. The function is to create and maintain software applications that the business units require to run their portion of the business. Jobs and roles, analysis and or programming within this department include project manager, systems analyst, programmer, programmer analyst, systems architect, and technical writer. Let's look at support services. The function is to provide hardware and software acquisition or third-party software, data administration, 
user training and assistance, web administration, and cybersecurity. Jobs and roles include database administrator, user trainer, systems programmer, web developer, LAN administrator, and security administrator. And this concludes our slide presentation.